Today we're going to talk about the event binding system which is eventually going to replace the channel system in Fortnite Creative. So in today's video I'm going to give you a brief understanding on how the system works, how you can use it the best and basically get an easy transition over to the system because you eventually have to learn it if you want it or not. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. And to understand the event binding system we first of all have to start at the channel system. It is going to be removed in the future so make sure that you get used to the new system and I promise you guys it is super easy. So how does the old system Work. You basically communicate between two devices with numbers. The numbers are called channels in this case and if I have a number or channel in one device I can basically transmit from that frequency to another device. So for example if I switch this lever on where the current channel is set to when turned on transmit on channel 1 I can send a signal to this light over here and then this light is getting turned on when I put the same channel that we used to turn on the lever to turn on the light. This system was previously used in Fortnite Creative and worked pretty well. However, it has a few limitations. First of all, you can currently only send up to 500 channels. But how do we get this new system into our maps? The first thing you have to do is go into your options, go to my island, and then you're gonna go to tools. You will be greeted with a new option over here, which is called event system. You can convert any map that you currently have into the event system and technically all of the channels that you previously used will be converted into the new system. So you do not have to reconnect them all with the new system. If you press the convert button, you will be greeted with a message that some of the um, devices that you previously used could be dysfunctioning and that is highly recommended to duplicate the island before doing it. Also, I highly recommend using a backup before doing it. But if you have done all of these steps, you can press confirm. Now your island is converted into the new system. If you now go into your devices, you can see that we have a few new options over here. We have the functions option, which in the old system was the receiving option. So basically all of this is anything that happens inside of the device or gets sent to this device. And then we also have the events option, which is basically the transmit options before the system change. So now if we click into this device, as you can see, all of the things got automatically enabled and they're also working as intended. As you can see, we couldn't turn the light on or off and I didn't have to do anything. So as you can see, if we go into this device, our options got added, everything was automatic, but now we also have the options to add more. So for example, if we have a second light, which we can quickly add next to it, and if we go into our lever, you can see that the options got also automatically added. This obviously only works if you're copying and pasting something that is already in the device. So if I, for example, would go here, if we, for example, add a new light source, and we now go into our lever again, we can see that the new light didn't get added automatically. However, we can very simply do that by clicking on the add button here, selecting the device and using the new customizable light, which in our case is customizable light three. So we can just click on it and then we can select the function. So in this, we are basically going to select what is going to happen in the customizable light if we've turned the lever on. So we can use turn on, turn off, disable, reset, and just to show it, we can turn this off in our case. So we have two of them turning on and one of them turning off. We can also add more if we want to, if we have more lights, but we don't have to. The same thing obviously goes for the turn off option here. We just can do the same thing. We're gonna select the device, select the third light, and then instead of turning them off, we're gonna turn it on. And so now if we start the game, you can see that these two lights are on, shining light on the floor, and the, the new one that we added is off. If we turn the lever on, you can see that our custom light shines here and our light bulbs got turned off. And we can just repeat this process over and over again. And we basically made a simple connection between two devices without any channels. And I think a lot of you guys are already starting to see how the system is a lot better and a lot easier to use than the old channel system. However, there are a few things which you have to make sure with this new system, which is super important to have it organized and well done. The first thing is that you should rename your stuff. So in our case, for example, we have our customizable lights named one, two, and three, which is not the most creative name, I admit, but I would highly recommend doing like, for example, if you have a house and you have a living room light, you have a a bedroom light, a bathroom light, something like that to really make sure that you're setting up the right settings for the right devices. The only down downside to the system is that it might take you some time to get used to it and that the searching options over here, especially if a lot of devices, might be a little bit confusing, especially if you name a lot of them the same name and then for example you have customizable light 
And then, for example, you have like 80 lights, which are all named customizable lights, and then you have to still look through all of them um, or just have a, to type out the full name. So that might be a little confusing, so that is why it's super important to make sure that you name them correctly and you can find them easier. And that is basically already everything that you need to know about the event system. It doesn't go much deeper than the old system. It's actually a lot simpler than the old system because you now basically have very clear what is what. Functions mean that something is going in the device and events basically means that they're going from this device. So it is actually a lot simpler and much easier to now have it organized and have it done the right way. So hopefully this video was helpful to you and you can now understand the new system. It is really not that hard. It is super simple and will make our lives so much easier. So with that being said, definitely let me know it would you. So with that being said, I'll see you guys. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one and bye.